What? Holy cow. And that's why this is the driver that I can actually hit. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, this is an exciting video because I did a video a couple weeks ago and I had, I was still in Texas and I did a video with my new Mizuno driver that I got fitted from Golf Tech for. And this thing is an absolute unit. And I, I just basically kind of hit some, hit some numbers and kind of got some base numbers of this driver. This is my first full nine holes that I'm going to be playing with this club. So this is going to be a beat my record, course vlog, whatever you want to call it. And it is going to be... Um, I'm gonna hit every single shot, tee shot I can with this new driver. Just gonna kind of get a feel for it on the course. I do know that it's kind of draw biased, which is cool because I can just, I can just rip it. So I've been hitting it pretty good. Did, uh, played a couple holes with Matt and Steve. It's gonna be a good day. I'm out here at um, Palm Beach National, and we got all the guys out here. We're filming some good, good stuff. It's gonna be unreal. So make sure and be checking out that content. It's just off the charts. I, as you can tell, I'm wearing a good, good uh, polo and a new hat. Those are going to be dropping next month sometime, so stay tuned for that. I'm going to have Matt on the camera today. He offered to film this, so uh, shout yeah. out to this guy. I'm going to put his channel in the in the description. So let's get right into this. The wind is going crazy, so so bear with me as far as this, the sound. Hopefully it's going to be okay. Let's get on. Starting on the back nine, hole 10. All right, number 10. It's about a 430-yard par 4. I'm going to be hitting a draw for that bunker you see on the right, which is kind of, I, I usually don't hit draws, but I'm going to start hitting a draw with this driver, as you can see right here. Many of you already seen it, but this thing is an absolute missile launcher. Okay, so Tig in the trees, but he sat down right about there. Yeah, this was kind of unfortunate. It just did not quite get the draw that I wanted. I'm just going to hit a little eight iron punch, try to cut it back into the wind. And if I can get this on the green, that's kind of what I'm going for. You like that? I love that play. All right. Turn. Sit. Sit. Oh, it's over the edge. That was right around pin high. I can't. I actually can't believe I moved that as much as I did. All right, this is where I ended up. Like I said about pin high. Just kind of straight up the hill, and it kind of feeds to the left a little bit. So, got a little chipper in hand. Look at that. Good. Goodness. That's the putt right there we need. I'll take that par. Yeah, it's a pretty good par from the trees, young man. Well, take starting off, solid par. Even after one, got eight holes left. See if I can pick it up with that driver a little bit. I'm gonna try to swing hard. All right, so here's the deal. The back nine was packed and I wanted to be able to get this video and so I jumped. I played hole 10 as my first hole and I'm jumping back and I'm playing hole one as my second hole. I'm gonna play holes one through eight for this nine hole course vlog and hit a bunch of drivers. My second hole of the day is a par five. I'm gonna try to hit a draw off of the pine trees you see out there. And uh, I think I can actually get myself into a very striking distance here. What do you say? I like it. Oh, he's playing that draw off that little bunky. Oh, that was enormous. That was a drive. There is just something about this driver that I am just really getting attached to, okay? Maybe cut that out. <laughs> I think I got about 190 to the pin. Wind is just absolutely crazy off the right. I got seven iron in hand, just gonna kinda try to take some spin off this ball somewhere around center of the green. We know that pin is way back. In between those two bunkies is probably the best shot that we can get here. All right, so we're gonna see if we can make that happen. It still went on the left side of the pin. That's right where you were the earlier though. Yeah. That's a good spot to be. I just didn't want that to be long. All right, I got about 25 feet straight up the hill for Eagle. I know this putt breaks to the right a lot, so I'm just gonna give it a roll. Oh! Goodness. Jimmy. Well, that's pretty much Jimmy Birdie there, boys. Nice little birdie, two putt, one under par after two holes, on to hole three. Another long, another pretty lengthy par four. I think me and Matt are making a pretty good team right now. Maybe we can make some more birdies. That's right. Only birdies. That's Only it. Birdies. Yeah. All right, what do we think here? Well, definitely the DRAW here. I mean, what you had last time, you know, pretty much play that exact same shot. I mean, 
Yeah, just play it like at that white truck. Yeah, pretty much right at that white truck. Keep giving it to him. See, that wind's going to... Come on. That's perfect. Dude, hitting a draw is fun. I know. I used to be able to do it. All right, Matt's going to go back in there and get a ball and just hit it. He's never hit this club. And one thing that's cool is I'm actually using a standard length shaft. I have not done that in a long time, so it feels a little bit awkward, but I like it, and I'm I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get used to it because this, this club is just a missile launcher. That was smacked. Going a little bit right, but it sounded good. Look where you hit it on the face. <laughs> dang, me and you were in the center of that dang just thing. Just that thing out. Just All right, so the fairway by a little bit. Not bad here from Pig. But I got 52 degree, gonna try to flight it in there. Definitely flight it lower, for sure. All right, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stick with my gut here. Yeah. Settle. Dang, it was too much. That that seems off. I don't know. You must have caught it a flyer or something. It's, that wind is so aggressive, and I just I, I hit it too high first off. Got to try to get up and down again. Well, young man's in the bunkie. Got to get something happening here. The distance control was pretty good, but wind just took over. I got what do you say, 20, 20 yards? Yeah, about 20 or so yards. It's gonna be working away from him here, so a good shot is needed. Kind of like that, Tig. Why don't you just love it when you tell your ball what to do and it does exactly what you say? Yeah. yeah. That feels good. Bunker shots have, I've, I've, I've always liked bunker shots, but you just gotta be confident and know what type of shot you're trying to get. Hey, I'll take a little tap in pars. A little tap in tars. A little tap in tars. Good round so far. No bogeys. We're gonna keep it that way now. All right, fourth hole of the day. 160 yard par three. It got P wedge in hand. Straight down wind now. Um, this is the club. Go, go, go. I really just did that. How is that short? Well, that's unfortunate. I just chunked it. Dang, it looks so good. I don't know what just happened, but it really did just happen. I just hit that in the water, and because of the golf rules, I can come up here and drop. So I'm hitting my third shot now, and I got about 75 yards left. Ooh, a little hit and stop. Well, got a bogey putt. All right, so this is my bogey putt. Kind of unfortunate, but I just got to make it. No. Well, rustle my feathers. May have pulled that just a little bit. That is, that kind of sucks. Back to one over with a nice little double there. Man, right. I, I hate those things. So I'm going to try to stick with my draw and play it right through this little Y here. This is kind of a tricky hole. Goes back to the right a little bit. You need to come back after that double. Yeah. Oh, no, straight left. Oh, that was a great kick. Kind of double crossed that. That was a little weird, but I think we're in play at least, right? Yeah, you're not. It literally hit off that hill of the bunker and popped straight up and bounced off to the right a little bit. So we're not in the bunkie. See, this shot's tougher because it forces, it kind of forces you to hit a cut and the wind's pushing from left to right. So. I'm gonna play at the center of the green with a P wedge. Yeah. And then just hit it. It's 150 to 160, probably 155 to the pin. Hit it, Wayne. How did you hit a draw? That's one of those things that just doesn't make any sense. Wind is crazy things, man. That's in the bunker. Well, this ended up bad. I got 50 feet left. I'm gonna try to hit a little bump and run. It's gonna go a little left. What? Tig, you knew you thought that thing was off the green, didn't you? Caught it just right. <laughs> this man was gonna try and land it here. Okay, well, not bad there. Tig now for par. I'm sick of him making bogeys, so. I haven't made a bogey. No, you didn't make double, didn't you? Great up and down hey, there. Some solid up and downs. I mean, I'm fighting for it right now and it's working. My driver, I'm still getting used to it. I've hit some good drives with it and I've also hit some bad drives with it. But it's definitely gonna take a little while to figure out what my most comfortable shot is. But I'm loving it so far and Matt is too. Okay, I've played five holes. This is my sixth hole today. I'm one over par. 
This is a kind of a tricky hole because of this tree, but I'm gonna try to hit my little draw over that bunker. Sit. Sit. All right, you should be good right there. Hopefully that just gives me a shot in. I just want to. I just want an opportunity for birdie. All right, just caught a little piece of the fairway here. It's 120 yards to the center of the green. I think I'm gonna play a low P wedge in between the pin and the bunker. I like the comfortability with this one then. Go. If I'm in the bunker again, we're gonna have a problem. Am I? My iron shots have been a little bit off. I think the distance was decent, but gosh. All right, I'm in a bunker again. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I need to hire a new caddy. Ha! <laughs> Got sand wedge. Pretty easy shot though. Yeah. So you take all the spin off. That's what his caddy told him to do right there. Solid par attempt here. A little longer than we wanted, but we like the look. Underneath the pin, a little uphill putt. That was a perfect putt. Dang it. Just broke a little more than I thought. That's another bogey on the scorecard. Not gonna lie, it's been a little tough out here today, but I'm currently two over par with three holes to play. See if I can make a couple birdies here coming in the stretch. Definitely gonna keep rip, keep ripping the driver though, because I'm I want to get used to that thing on the course. Hope you guys are enjoying this video so far. Listen, I am closing in on that 100k mark. Um, so if you have not subscribed, okay, I'm getting close. So. Let's do it, okay? If you're watching this video and you're right now and you're not subscribed, what are you thinking? Okay, let's get it done. Golf has not been the best, but it's real life, and I'm gonna I'm gonna stick to it, make a couple birdies. I did hole out. I did make a solo ego on this hole earlier in one of Steve's videos, so you never know. Maybe I can channel that again. Seventh hole of the day. This hole is relatively short because I'm gonna cut the corner here, and I'm just gonna go right right at the. You won't be able to see the pin, but I'm gonna go right at the pin with a little draw. Hopefully, put myself in the fairway. You know what's called a fairway? Because it treats you more fairly. Yes, it's a rough because it's a little rougher. It's rougher on you. What? Holy cow. And that is why this is the driver that I can actually hit. Couldn't tell if it hit the green. I don't think Good it did. Goodness. All right, when you get aggressive, sometimes it pays off. I got about, about 50 yards. I got a little 60 degree in hand. This is kind of a dicey little shot, but I'm feeling confident with it. Channel that same energy. Right. Rats! That was that it! Just, that just carried about three feet short of where I wanted to land it. But I got a straight up the hill putt. I like it. I gave myself this for birdie. I've been wanting some birdie looks and I got one. Stay out. Whoa! A lot more than I thought. The cool thing is there that I had that line picked out and I actually hit it on that line, but it was just the wrong line. So I, I, I take that as a good putt. Potential, potential. We, we have big potential here, but big driver energy as well. Par 5, it's around 510 or something yards. Kind of short, but I'm going to take driver just to the left of this group of trees, hit a little draw, get myself in position, hopefully hit the green. Yo. Oh. That thing is just flying off the face. That is insane. That's a long drive there. We've been destroying the center of that face. You see what that is? Yeah. The center of that ball is right, like, I would love to know the smash factor on that if I had TrackMan or something. <laughs> I haven't felt this comfortable with the driver since cut down M2, and that feels really good because I'm think, I think I'm consistently hitting this a little farther. All right, so that was by far my best drive of the day. I got my seven iron. We, we got, I mean, we're well inside 200 yards. It's probably only about one... 80 to the pin, but I'm gonna play a flight to seven iron at the left side of the right bunker. Try to draw it in there. All right, this is a shot we practice right here. No, nope. see that's it, that's gonna be way left now. Hit it in the bunker, catch the bunker. Did that go in the bunker? I think it hit over the bunker, but that's the problem is if, if you just miss hit it a little bit with this wind, it exaggerates it so much. All right, I gotta deal, the, deal with the consequences of not playing that shot well. My ball ended up all the way down there, as you can see. Matt's gonna feel from right here, and I gotta land this ball somewhere around in here and let it trickle on. I wanna have something close, but because I wanna, I wanna like test my ability here, 
I'm gonna try to get a little risky with this shot. Yeah. Uh, this shot has to be pretty much darn perfect here. Uh, the green does slope away that way, away from us, so it's gonna be a little bit of a tougher shot. He's a little off the green there. It's not what he was expecting. It landed pretty hard, kind of rolled off here, so he's got to try and get up and down for par now. Well, I guess that's what I get. This is still break. This is still not an easy shot here. Yep, settle, 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 settle. Oh, oh! that's the shot right there. See, a little comeback for the the bad shot. My short game has been pretty good. Okay. That is another par, which is kind of crazy. I've been really scrambling for him, which is cool. I mean, but I got one hole left, two over par. I know I have the ability to make birdies, but sometimes they don't always come easy. That's right. Last hole of the day, short par four. I'm going to be taking it over the, these trees right here, right? Yep. A little bit of play your little draw over them things. All right, had to wait. Those are some people up there, but I'm good now. I'm just going to give this a rip and see what happens. Bro, you hit the cut! Hopefully that's not cutting too much. I think it's gonna be okay. That cut just a little bit. I was not necessarily trying to do that, but it was still hit well. All right, so I got a little bit of a situation, but testing my limits here. It's kind of, uh, feels, feels good to do that sometimes. I'm gonna try to go under this little palm tree. I think I can get some spin on this ball and try to stop this somewhere close to the pin. Didn't play the best, it was just kind of getting through the wind. Wind conditions, when they get super high, it gets a little tougher out there. So, if you can end with a par, two over ain't a bad score. Yeah, it's gonna break hard to the right here. Moving on. I can see it trickling in, can you? I can too. Oh, I was not expect that'd be a little faster. All right. Well, pressure's we'll get... on here. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Dang it. Guys, not gonna lie. I, I mean, three over on nine holes. That's really not that good. I had a double, a birdie, and two bogeys. I am very pleased with this driver, and I'm very pleased to have it in the bag. It feels really good. I'm, I, I feel confident with it, which is something that I haven't had for a little while. So I'm feeling pretty pumped about it. Stay tuned for some more content coming out here, uh, and good, good content as well. If you have not subscribed to the Good Good channel, crazy stuff happening over there. Once again, shout out to Matt for uh, being my camera caddy today. He's a beast. We're all beast, okay? I mean, just look at him. <laughs> Yikes. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed it. I will be seeing y'all soon and some more content coming soon. Peace.